everybody. Um, I would like to talk to you about the state of the comments, meaning uh, the comment feature or methodologies uh, within Nextcloud. So in version 9.0 back then, um, we introduced this feature that you could comment on files. And uh, uh, it was, yeah, we, we designed it uh, carefully to be, to be modular. Um, and so uh, to be reusable. So basically that was split in three parts. For one, the public API that anybody else could implement as well. Um, for the other, um, the, our own implementation using the database. And, um, and the GUI that is implemented as an app that really would show the sidebar in the, in the files app. Um, to the API somewhat also belongs a functionality to, so that the comments are hooked uh, into the DAF functionality. So in fact you can read them from uh, WebDAF and write them from WebDAF. Um, yeah, so yeah, with this in mind, it was kind of well integrated into the different parts of Nextcloud. And um, um, yeah, like you see here now, um, these are these again six examples of the DAF connection, web DAF connection, and um, the separation into the GUI. Um, so with that in mind, we also wanted first to enable um, maybe other implementers who have a fancy file system to be able to write the comments directly into the file and not into the database like our um, um, like our implementation does, uh, while still keeping the possibility or the functionality to, to work uh, via WebDAV. And the WebDAV way is actually also the way how um, the GUI works when talking to the server. And uh, the other idea was also to be able to use the comments infrastructure um, in other applications or use cases. For instance, you could do a like feature that would just use the uh, comments infrastructure. Or we have the signature uh, panel and planning that would also make use of this. Um, however, how is the adoption of the comments? Is anybody here in the room really using it? Hands up. Okay, there are a few. That's, that's, that's a start. Um, do you use it also for really um, discussing with other users? Or more like just for yourself? So who's, who's discussing? Who's discussing about files? Okay, okay. Good. That's not that many. That's um, I think that's the the issue um, because I don't see very much of public uh, talking about about that feature itself and um, my own dog footing or what I saw in uh, our corporate uh, instance is that it's kind of not really used and uh, the main problem is that it's very hard kind of to pull other users in because. It's, for instance, integrated with the activity, so where the new comments appear or are written, uh, it appears on the activity stream, but there are no notifications, so you cannot mention a user. And um, that's why, yes, my use case here is I also use it, but mostly kind of just to say, yeah, I listen to that podcast until this and that point, so I can continue there, which is... Um, not as much as you could do. Um, so to improve the whole thing, yes, user mentions, you want to do this. And in fact, I think almost half a year ago or so, I, I already started to implement this, um, but on the way things happened and now it's the time kind of to work on this. So we have a a uh, four-step approach on uh, how to how to realize this, um, because the comments themselves they uh, they just take plain text and they don't do anything else. So when uh, we want to do user mentioning, we want 
we want kind of to put their username somehow. And unlike GitHub, for instance, we have the separation between a user ID, which can be very, very crude uh, if it's the default LDAP setting, for instance. Um, and we have the display name, um, so kind of a yes, proper formatted re readable name, and that should appear there. Um, so yeah, that's why it's a four-step approach. So first we want uh, to do it um, a very simple mechanism to just provide there the UID and to send out a notification using that uh, framework written by US. So then your notification center would show um, yeah, read what number or so, and then you will see whether you are mentioned, and you will be linked um, to the file. And um, yeah, afterwards, you want to make the clients a little bit smarter. So because the comments are uh, plain text, I said the clients would need to be able to replace the UID with a display name. Um, also in mind, or um, having in mind editing the comment itself. Um, next step would be the autocomplete feature, and this is then this would really become usable for for the end user who kind of doesn't really know the UIDs. So the other things are just um, the needed fundament or base uh, for this autocompletion, and yeah. So when this is done, we could also, as a last step, uh, optimize a little bit uh, to save some requests, for instance, for the clients to make it easier to work with at all. So the resources so far, there is an um, overview issue ticket uh, where the steps are explained in detail. Um, the first step actually is almost done a little bit, is missing, um, and pull requests will follow hopefully these days. And yes, yeah, so the hack rooms there on the third floor. Okay, thank you.